All right. So um, you've talked about your um, coming back now, doing that uh, competition, right? So let's talk about. Do you have any upcoming fights coming up within MMA? Yeah. So, yes, I do. I have one in May the seventh. Um, in all the way in Newcastle on the show oh, Rise wow. and Conquer, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I've heard, I think I've heard of that show. Um, yeah. How is it for you now, knowing that you're going to be going all the way there to the Geordie side? Yeah. You know, Geordie show. <laughs> <laughs> you got like, um, yeah, forget the accent. I really want to talk yeah. about that. But yeah. <laughs> so you got your fight over there. Yeah. You got to listen to that accent. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling for that then? And how long away is it? don't know isn't it like something like i don't know six six hours is it yeah yeah, yeah so something distance, ridiculous yeah. yeah six hours i think that's the part that i i hate the most um yeah. just driving all the way up there it's kind of the like the same kind of feeling like traveling on a plane i mean i love going up in a plane but like s sitting there and waiting and being anxious like i just hate that like and it's the same with like going up to newcastle just sitting waiting being anxious and just really just wanting to get on with it like yeah yeah and uh, when is the uh, what month are you fighting like, how long is it from now oh it's like exactly two months from oh, now oh two months yeah. okay mm -hmm. nice yes. um so how are you feeling for that like because it's been like, like i said mma's Doing an interclub and then doing an amateur MMA comp, you got yeah. loads of people watching. Of course. You got all the, you know, music and yeah. the entrance and yeah. seeing them lights. Um, how are you feeling for that feeling, that having that feeling again? Um, so based off of the previous feeling, I was so nervous on my first oh, yeah. um, MMA fight. And so when I'm so facing that feeling again, I definitely have nerves, yeah. but I'm a lot more confident now compared to what I was a year ago. All right. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a year ago. Okay. How are you? How do you do your training camps? Because we know some fighters do six weeks, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So how do you? How long do you do your training camps, and how do you structure it? So with me, like I'm. So my training camp starts tomorrow. Really, like I just. I think um, the best thing to do is to just always stay consistent, mm. even if it's like months away. Obviously, I'm not going to cut weight now or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. But I am going to like just train hard um not too hard i i think i guess for the first month i'll train smart mm. then like for the next month i'll just be like then i start to train hard so yeah 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 oh, nice uh how would you describe your opponent style like do you have obviously you don't need to say the name of the opponent yeah, no. like that, but um how do you how would you like describe the style do you feel like they're a um how do i put it a good style matchup for you like for you to win obviously um so i think she's she's a pressure fighter from what i've seen okay. she likes to come forward she likes to use her jab a lot stick her jabs yeah. out she's got good pressure against the cage as well like she'll just kind of ram you up to the cage and then try and like either strike you from there or wrestle you from there and i think that's going to be a good challenge for me because i'm the type of fighter that likes to circle anyway like i like to circle around my opponents and kind of uh, make them chase me obviously it didn't go that way in the comp in the massive okay, open because yeah. i was like fighting for my life yeah, there yeah. um but no this time because I recognize like my weaknesses in my past, like in my past fights, I now know how to be more controlled and I now know the game plan for this fight. So yeah, the 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 game plan really is to just not crumble under pressure. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, so you mentioned crumbling under pressure. Is your, I'm guessing your opponent's a pressure fighter from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how would you describe your style then to for the listeners that are watching yeah how do you describe your style of fighting um i'm more of a counter fighter oh well that's what um steve has been saying so i'm more the type of person that on the outside yes uh, yeah mm. definitely on the outside um so yeah i like to i like to counter um i like to counter people when they're coming in swinging yeah. um but I don't know, I might change it up for this fight. Like, who knows? Yeah. It's always good to kind of have a mix of everything and to know how to use it at the right time. Like, timing yeah. is so important. Because you can be a counter fighter and a pressure fighter at the same time, but, like, you need to know when to apply the two. Yeah, like, a uh, perfect example is um, Conor McGregor. His, yeah. His timing is very good, especially when he was in his peak. Like, 
he was a bit of both. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, is there like anyone that you would like to like any fighter you emulate or? Okay, so I I love GSP. Okay, I love yeah. I love um, I love all of what he does. I'm not going to mention it just in case. Um, yeah, just in case like anyone's listening. But like, yeah, I love I love what he does in there. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think one thing I really like. There was one combo I used to love that he used to. Yeah. So he used to do the Superman jab. Yes. And then the right low kick. Uh huh. That's like one of my favorite combos that he does. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, GSP is like one of my all time favorites. Um, so yeah, that's that's a, that's a good one actually. He's probably one of the most complete fighters and uh, yeah, like and so obviously you don't want to mention it yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, like what, like but like what he does under pressure as well. Like I really yeah. like that, and that's all I'll say. You know what's crazy about GSP? <laughs> yeah. Like you were yeah. talking about the mental and the mantras. Like mm-hmm. they say he's so nervous, like in the back. Like they say that he doesn't want to come out. Yeah, and it's so crazy because you look at him and he's just beating all his opponents. He's taking down wrestlers, mm-hmm. and. Uh, when you look at that, you're just like, how is this guy that scared? Like, yeah. It doesn't look like, but I th- every fighter handles it different, right? So, um, and that's why, that's why I really like him so much, like as a fighter, as, as, and as a person, like how he just goes about life. Um, that's why I, I really like, a spot, like, I really look up to him. All right, yeah. nice. Um, so you go, your opponent's a pressure fighter, right? And um, you're a, what weight class? I'm a straw weight. She's a straw weight, so 115 pounds. You're quite tall for straw. You're like what? You're around five six. Yeah. Yeah. She's around. Four, you're around five six. I mean, like a lot of the girls that are short, they're probably like what five one. Yeah. Five, two. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like your height and and reach would be like an advantage in that division? Um, I think it can be if I have the timing right and if I know how to control the range. Definitely. Then, then I've kind of then I've won the fight. Really, if I if I have the timing right and the range right, I've won everything. But like, it just depends on on the opponent. Really, if she's really good at kind of coming forward, and you know, if she's a very good pressure fighter, then obviously then I've got much more to deal with, and then yeah. it's going to be more challenging. And especially because she's shorter, um, she might have, you know, the advantage to take me down as well. Yeah. So that's something I need to bear in mind. Um, yeah. But no, yeah. I, th- I I do think I have an advantage if I use it well. Yeah, like, I was just going to say, do you feel like there's pros and cons? Like, for example, like Islam Makhchev, Volkanovski. Yep. Volkanovski is very short. He's, mm-hmm. he, he's hard to take down. Yes. Because he's got a very strong base. And thing. do you feel like you're going to have you're gonna have to deal with that in that division? I think so, yeah. I think I'm either... What I'm going to have to deal with in that division is like... Especially like if they're... Because they have to make up for the fact that they're shorter than me. As, as That doesn't, like, I'm not trying to sound rude or anything. <laughs> but, like, they have to, like, kind of come forward. They're kind of yeah. forced to come forward because... because yeah, she's a bully. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. A weight bully, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so they're, like, they're forced to come forward because, like, I am taller and, you know, I am going to catch them out. So they have to, they have no choice because yeah. the, the long range is my game, isn't it? So they can't stay there. So they have to come in. Um... So yeah, that is what I'm going to have to deal with. But um, again, like with the wrestling and everything that I'm doing, I feel like I'll be okay. I will. I will manage well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Um, so moving on now from your fighting and things like that. What What does Nadine like to do in her free time? My free time. What What's, What What are your hobbies? <laughs> like, do you have a life outside of fighting? Or? I do. Yes. Okay. Well, um, I've started like filming on tiktok and stuff just like documenting my journey i mean it's not really a life outside of fighting because it still kind (laughs) of relates to my fighting but um i get to post some of my strength and conditioning on there which is really cool and and i find it quite it's gonna sound weird but i find it quite um therapeutic to kind of edit my day and like to document like my journey yeah and i feel like it just kind of makes the fighting scene more fun or something more to look yeah. forward to because sometimes in fight i mean fighting is fun in general but sometimes you get so lost in the sport that like you i don't know you can sometimes get sad and depressed yeah. or whatever because you feel oh i'm not where i want to be yet so um yeah no i feel like it makes the journey more fun yeah what advice would you give because you're an arab woman right yeah. and you're doing fighting how, how did your family take that when you first i never got around to asking this but oh. how did your family take you saying to them oh i want to be a pro kickboxer i want to be a mayfire like how how did that go so i never told my dad anything 
<laughs> so um, he found out for himself, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And then I said, "Oh, I'm just training." And he's like, "This isn't really good, like for well, you know." For... Did he say in Arabic? Or he did you... say it in Arabic. How did he say in Arabic? Come on. It's like, it's like. Uh, do you want me to actually say it in yeah, Arabic? Of uh, Baba, hey, Mishla Ilik, you know, <laughs> this is like, you know, hey, hey, um, Rajel, inti, inti bint, like, no one's going to marry you and all this kind of stuff. And then I said, no, but that's not true because there, there's a lot of Arab fighters out there yeah, and they're yeah. like, and they actually encourage it. So I feel like with him, it's just, I, I think as well, he's scared of me getting hurt, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And also it was the time he was brought up in, like, it was, mm, it's a different, yeah, it was a different yeah. time, different, yeah. different everything. But mom, my mom is very um, encouraging of it. The, the women yeah, in my family yeah, are very, yeah, like, yeah, very, very yeah. encouraging. And some of the men too, but my, my dad, I think, I think he's, he's scared. I think it's natural though, isn't it, like... I think yeah, it's natural for fathers and the daughters to be a bit more protective, and yeah. especially within our culture. So uh, I do understand where he's coming from. A exactly, bit. yeah. But um, he's only yeah. trying to protect me in a way he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So you're representing like um, you know Arab women, yeah. Arab the Arab community, right? Your nickname now, the Lebanese lioness. Yes. What made you pick that? So I didn't actually pick it. Um, my neighbor actually gave that name oh, okay. to me. Yeah. Was there any other names he gave you? The nine tone Nadine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, thought, oh, it's either nine tone Nadine or the Lebanese lioness. I'm going to choose um, Lebanese yeah, lioness. Why? Yeah. But I think the nine tone just sounds like. Yeah, nine tone Nadine. <laughs> and I was like, oh, but I sound like, but it's kind of marketing me as like, a pirate like in a way like i don't know because you know they kind of they lose their limbs don't they yeah yes yeah, so something like that yeah. all right and uh yeah the lebanese lioness now like um i actually know someone named the lebanese gorilla shout out my brother omran oh, yeah, chaban yeah so yeah he's fighting in cage warriors soon so uh over the weekend actually um this might be released after but good luck to him man uh really good guy he's training over in ireland yeah, so like we've got a Lebanese girl, now we've got a Lebanese lioness. So yes. there's loads of like um, Lebanese fighters within like MMA. Like if you go in the Middle East and like thing, they're representing, man. And quite a few have made the UFC. So yeah. is that encouraging for you seeing that like, okay, wow, there's, you know, uh, there was actually, I believe, a Lebanese female fighter in the UFC. Um, she it, stopped now. She was, uh, she's from Australia. I think. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name. I, I can't remember her name now but yeah uh, Nadia Kusem okay right, yeah, yeah yeah so she, so do you feel like you know what I'm seeing there's potential for me mm -hmm. to get there like make the UFC like what's your aspirations within this sport like how far do you do you see yourself so um, I, I really just thought because I didn't because at the time I didn't think like I'd go anywhere so I thought oh it'd be a blessing if I went on to like Bellator or something like you know because Bellator is a really good place yeah. to be but I never thought okay something as high as UFC yeah. I didn't think but like now I just tell myself no just just reach for the stars like you know just <laughs> just aim high and see where you go so right now I'm just kind of seeing where I go it all really just, just depends okay. yeah but I like how like realistically do you want to like turn pro like when are you looking to turn pro and um, let's just say which organizations would you be happy to compete in like I want to go to one championship because like it's in Asia and yeah. um, there's um, there's they're they're in good affiliation with um, what's the Lebanese oh, not the the Arab one Arab combat what's it called uh, UAE A A S A C S or something oh, and UAE Warriors as well UAE yeah. Warriors yeah you got Brave as well Brave Combat Federation yeah um, yeah they're a pretty good organization but yeah one championships uh, thing. Just want to just want to give a shout out to my other guy. I know he's fighting in one championship tomorrow for Kanchima. He's awesome. from the UK as well. He's fighting in one championship actually tomorrow. So yeah, yeah, it's just definitely a good organization. Like one yeah. champ, uh, cha uh, one championship. Sorry, mm -hmm. and uh, going Asia. And yeah, I'd like, lo I'd love to I'd love to be in one. And also, there's you know, there I feel like there's there's more. I guess girls there as well, like more small girls, yeah, 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 so yeah like yeah. like me. And I think I think that'll be really good because then I'd have fights consistently. Yeah, yeah. Um, but straw away, we got the UFC division as true, well, so yeah. you yeah, could true. you could go that route as well. It just depends on what you're looking for, really. Yeah. But um, yeah, so you obviously we want to make it. Yeah. That's every fighter, right? Yeah. Um, what advice would you give for up and coming uh, female fighters, especially Arab? Mm -hmm 
females or like think what what's okay. your advice into for them if they want to go the same route as you right so my advice is okay you will you will get opposition you will get a lot of criticism from your family as well you'll get mm. a lot of it um if you've come from the same kind of strict yeah. upbringing like me you're going to get a mm. lot of criticism and it's going to be really hard to try and get out of that mental frame of people saying oh you're never going to make it mm. this is not the sport for you you know you have to you have to keep pushing it's just like a fight really yeah. like you just have to keep going forward yeah. And that's my advice. You have to cut out the um, negative criticism, develop yeah. a positive way of thinking, be stubborn in your goal, know what you want to do and keep to it. And um, another thing is cut out all the distractions as yeah. well in your life. Just if this is what you want to do, it has to yeah. be the only thing that, you, that you've that you set your mind to really. Yeah. yeah. So um, do you have like a time frame like where you, where you want to be in like, the next couple of years, like how far you know you want to be in the UFC at this time, one championship. Do you have like a time frame? So um, my time frame really is to go pro in the next two years. Okay. So I'm I'm 26, so yeah. being pro like by 28 is is not bad at all. Yeah, especially like I think for females, well, I know it sounds like thing, but like in the female, the divisions aren't as stacked as the male divisions. Mm -hmm. Like uh, so I think there's more opportunity for you to. Um, get fights and they're looking for more females as well each yeah. each organization so at this time i think it's it, it's possible do you know what i mean so yeah. um do you feel the same or yeah i do um yeah definitely yeah so yeah. i feel like i feel like now as well the best thing for me to do is to just get as much fights as possible mm. as much experience doesn't matter win lose well actually that does matter yeah. a lot but yeah. you know obviously i more wins than losses yeah and so long as i'm perfecting all of my weaknesses and like going over it then it's good nice um all right so lightening up from your fights fight now so we're gonna do a few um fire round questions mm -hmm. so um starting off your favorite striking technique i love to throw the jab to the hook so lead jab to lead hook i love doing that and then kind of making my opponent like forcing my opponent to go the opposite direction which leads up nicely for like a head kick or something off the oh, other nice. side on the right side yeah like which uh, toe do you like hitting them with with a head kick like which toe yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> you know that's actually a good question because i always like throw i throw my left kick a lot but yeah. do you like slap it or do you like hit with your shin i hit with my shin Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually hit with the shin. So, uh, but it depends. Like, it, it kind of depends on the distance and what. Yeah, and the style yeah. of kick, right? Like, if you look at um, like the karate guys, some of them hit with the 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 foot, right? Yeah, especially like question mark kicks. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I've yeah. noticed like with question marks now. Sometimes you're hitting your toe onto the mm -hmm. opponent. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> will that impact me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't, that's a... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it hasn't impacted me. Do so you have far. like you know toes of steel or? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, move it off from that. Like, your favorite striking technique, yeah. favorite grappling, te uh, favorite submission. So favorite submission. Oh, that's a really good one. Um, I love a lot. I like the guillotine yeah. a lot. I love the rear naked choke. I love arm bars. Um, favorite submission. I'd say, I. Uh, that's a really hard question. Uh, I like arm bars from mount. Uh, arm bars from mount. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, or nice. like when, uh, but and if it's um, and if it, if I manage to kind of grab the leg with the arm, yeah, that's that's even better. All right, nice. And um, your favorite position? Um, I don't mean the bedroom. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's just here. Oh, What's yeah. your like favorite <laughs> position? <laughs> My favorite position. Um, so. <laughs> My favorite, oh gosh, my favorite position. Um, so I like three quarter mount. Oh yeah. Three. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, like um, God or yeah. like. So three quarter mount. Oh right. I like. I no, like. Just, <laughs> I like no, it just sounds funny. Um, so three quarter mount. I like mm. the um, half guard from top position is really good. Half guard from top position. Oh, okay. As well. It's really good. Um, yeah. So half guard from top, because then you can just kind of, you can control everything from there, really. You mm. can do ground and pound from top half. Like. You like being in control, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> what? 
Nothing, just asking you a normal nothing, nothing, I'm just asking her a normal nothing, question. Yeah, what, nothing, yeah. See what I gotta deal with. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Continue. Yes. <laughs> All right. Favorite yeah. uh, fighter? Favorite fighter. I love GSP. As oh, I, yeah. I I love what he does under pressure, and I love all of his. I like I like his tactics. So do you think he'll be impressed by your performance? I hope fight? so. I hope yeah. so. I'm not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear him saying oh, that, no. right? No, I yeah. don't. Yeah, that would be like a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Okay, GSP yeah. as well. Um, I really love. Um, I, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Continue. Favorite female fight then? Favorite female fighter. Um, I really like Ronda Rousey. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god! I, yeah. lo- I liked I liked the fact that she was really good. At, she's really good at arm bars as well. Yeah, yeah, and I love and judo, I love yeah. arm bars, judo. Um, and I, I I just really like her techniques as well. But that's that's one. Um, another female fight I really like uh, Zhang Weili. Okay. At the moment, nice. yeah, I really love her style as well. Always like throw like she throws the the hooks a lot. Hook, low kick, mm-hmm. hook, or she would like. She's got a really good way of pressuring um, the opponent as well, and I just I just really like how she she's able to kind of use like something off the left side and something off the right side, and I think that's really really important. Like she, to throw a hook and then a kick, or you know kick and hook or whatever. You know she's always going left to right, left to right, and making it very difficult. Plus she's got very good wrestling too, and I feel like she's a very all rounded fighter, which is what I like. Oh, nice. Um... All right, you're, I'm going to make you pick between A and B, right? Mm-hmm. So um, uh, you pick one of them. So K1 or boxing? K1. Oh, okay. Wrestling or jiu-jitsu? Mm-hmm. That's a really hard question. Uh, wrestling. Okay. Weightlifting or cardio? Cardio. But I, but it's difficult. That's actually a very difficult question. But I like cardio because I like running. Lamb shawarma, or chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Come on, like. Come on, lamb. Lamb. Who does that? Oh, <laughs> lamb. Come on, man. Get out. I'm <laughs> joking. Chicken, uh. It has to be chicken shawarma. <laughs> nah. Lamb shawarma. It's not the lamb, same. Lamb, lamb is so much better. No. If, if, if you're gonna get shawarma, yeah, people, I recommend you get the lamb. Yeah. No. Don't listen to her. No, no, yeah. it has she, to she's, be she's chicken. She's not proper Arab. Yeah. No, it has to be chicken. <laughs> Sorry, lamb shawarma. No way. It's not the same. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Um, so I'm trying to think that I'm, I'm, I'm right out. I'm right out. Um, what else? What else? Lebanon or the UK? <laughs> Lebanon, I have to, but okay. no, but UK because they helped with my MMA, so I can't. Okay. Can I? I can't choose this one. Lebanon because it's my home country. Right. Birmingham or Manchester? Birmingham, of course. Yeah, you're gonna have to say that. Of yeah, course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. All right. Um, what is it? I'm trying to think. Um, your favorite wrestling technique. My favorite. Re- I love. I love the low single. The low single. Low single. Yeah, low single. Just like Khabib does that as well. Okay. He, he yeah. throws the low single and then he like kind of scrambles to the body lock, and right. I think that's such a strong place to be. Mm. The body lock. Yeah. So I love doing that. All right, and um, so you mentioned um, Khabib, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, GSP or Anderson Silva? In a fight. That. Oh, in a fight? That was like a super fight, so. GSP. GSP? Yeah. All right. Um, favorite, favorite type of food in general? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know, uh, to every person, obviously, all the Lebanese who know Mluchiyye, that is my favorite food. What is it called? Mluchiyye. Mluchiyye, why is that? Mluchiyye, it's with an M. Oh, it's no. like, it's basically, um, it's rice with, uh, you can either have chicken, some people have fish in it. I don't, okay. I don't know who who does that, but I don't do that. But yeah, you got you got rice, chicken. A um, bit of lemon on top, and it's basically a type of spinach leaf. It's not spinach, but okay. it's like a type of green, called oh, right. right? And then it's like boiled with water, 
and then you put it on top. This is all mixed. And it's all mixed, yeah. With, oh, wow. With that sounds nice. I need to try that. It is really good with chicken, lemon. Um, you can put vinegar on top and onions on top. You can have it with olives. I don't. I personally just like it with a mm, chicken and lemon, and that's it, really. Oh, nice. It's really good. I like it. So, do you, uh, tea or coffee? Coffee. I coffee. must have my coffee. What kind of, like, what? Turkish coffee and espresso. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quite strong. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I I tend to prefer mine a bit lighter. Oh. <laughs> do you like do you like frappuccino though? I do. Yes. All right. Nice. Um, one uh, one person who's like inspired you like in your life. One person that's inspired me, like fighter or family. General anything. My uncle inspired me a lot. Oh, um, yeah. He did boxing a lot when he was mm. my age as well, and um, he's always been like a very assertive character. That's kind of that's kind of told me um, the, told me about life how it is. Like, okay, yeah. you need to work on this. You need to work on that. He yeah. never he never babied me, which I loved, and he yeah. kind of he made me a very a uh, strong person. Yeah. And I've I've always loved how assertive he was and how um how you know much of a strong character he is and just learning from him really helped me both in my fighting and in life. So him definitely. 10 toes or 9 toes? 9 toes. Come on, <laughs> 9 toe gang. <laughs> For everyone out there who has 9 toes. Yeah. This is we are nine toe gang. All right, nine toe gang. Yeah. Um. I think I think we're gonna end it here. Okay. It's a pleasure talking to you. Likewise. I had a fun time. Me too. And um, before we end it though, uh, anyone you'd like to give a shout out to, and where can people find you on social media and. Shout out to Steve um, for giving me all of this opportunity. Like BJJ Steve on Instagram. He's my head coach. Um, massive shout out to him for everything he's done for me. I wouldn't even be here without Steve, let's be honest. Um, Steve, um, shout out to everyone um, in the gym. I can't really tag, I can't really tag them all here, I guess, but um, there is Chloe Cook, his daughter, who's an awesome training partner. There's Barry, crazy Barry, who I have to shout out to. Um, Everyone from Team One Round, Sophie, um, everyone, I can't really say everyone, but and definitely Mark and Rico for helping me. Uh, Mark, my personal trainer, and Rico, guy who does um, MMA wall sparring with me. Definitely shout out to these guys. And where can people find you on social media? Um, at Nadine Fitness. Nadine underscore underscore fitness, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. underscore after that. <laughs> Oh no, it's Nadine <laughs> underscore fitness underscore underscore. That's oh wow, me. yeah, but that's uh, so easy to find. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I'll put it in the description on the channel. Um, yeah. Anything else you'd like to say before we end it? You got any final thoughts? Stay tuned for the fight in May. Um, let's see what happens. Really excited. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, that's it really. Thank you so much for having me here. No I'm really grateful. You can check us out on um, Instagram, MA Diagnosis, Facebook, YouTube. If you want to check my personal, Hamad Mia One, so much easier. Or Hamad underscore Mia One, <laughs> so much easier. Um, yeah, so um, check us out and follow us and we'll be having more content soon. Pleasure having you on. Thank you very much. We're out. Best interview of my life.